It's Saturday morning here in the city of Lagos, and as usual, you can find young men playing football on one of the thousands of pitches scattered across the city. But this is no ordinary pitch. This is the pitch at the National Stadium Surule in Lagos. Built by the Yakubu Gowon Military Administration in 1972 as a 55,000 capacity sporting facility ahead of the hosting of the 1973 All-African Games. It was later redesigned in 1999 as a 45,000 capacity stadium in order to meet FIFA requirements for the hosting of the 1999 FIFA Under-20 World Cup. Today, this magnificent edifice is a wreckage. Most of the plastic seats have been damaged or removed. Vegetation grows in the stands. The roof of the main stand is completely gone at the pitch, venue of two Africa Cup of Nations finals and countless other memorable football contests is an eyesore. The only functional thing at the stadium is the tartan track, an extreme contrast to its rundown surroundings. It was rebuilt thanks to the efforts of philanthropist Sir Kessington Adebutu to renovate the stadium a few years ago. This is the underground tunnel that leads to the dressing rooms where the players would emerge from behind one of the goalposts. It used to be an iconic scene, climbing up the stairs in front of 45 or 60,000 roaring fans. But as you can see, it's been abandoned for decades and it's been locked for that long as well. You can see just on the floor how bad everything is. And you can see the drain behind you all rusted through, completely broken, and definitely a health hazard. But take a look at the wall here. You can see the discoloration between this upper part and this lower part. You can see this is lighter, this is much darker. That's because this tunnel used to be flooded, and this was the level the water would get to. But it's actually much better because 10 years ago when I came here, the water was pretty much head high. And I'm thinking it probably housed a few crocodiles or so, but it just shows you just how badly run this facility is. The last time the national stadium hosted a national team match was 20 years ago. And ever since, it has crumbled into a shocking state of disrepair. The stadium was equipped with four towers carrying floodlights. But in 2023, part of one of those towers came crashing down after a thunderstorm and all four were subsequently removed as a precaution. Not that it matters. The stadium was disconnected from the national grid years ago due to unpaid bills. So just like the Nigeria economy, our national stadium is also in a very poor situation. You know, the cost of living is biting on Nigerians. The same thing with how the grass in the stadiums are growing and biting. <laughs> so it's, I would say it's, um, it's bad. Generally, for the stadium, I think they need to do more work on the stadium in, in regards to maintenance because a lot of money has gone into that project in the past. I don't feel like they are working on it at all. I don't see any improvement. It's just stagnant. This place cannot be called National Stadium. This place is gone. It's gone. Everything is decaying. The ground. I've been coming to this place for so many, 10, 15, how many years ago? It's been the same. Nowadays, the stadium is more frequently used for religious functions and social events. Even at night, it is a major watering hole for those looking for where to get a drink. Sadly, the Moshud Abiola National Stadium in Abuja is hardly in a better state of repair. While the superstructure, the seats, the roof seem to be in a good state, a closer look at the tartan track shows otherwise. It would never be allowed to host any major domestic or international athletic meet. The pitch itself has failed to pass several calf inspections and was last used for a major international match in March 2022. The state of these two stadiums, hundreds of kilometers apart, are a clear reflection of the government's lack of investment in sports. Nigeria. The recent poor performance of the Nigerian contingent to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games is further brought into focus. Ironically, the president of the Nigerian Olympic Committee, Habu Gumel, 
who is in his fifth term, was a former director, facilities and stadia development in the Federal Ministry of Sports and Social Development. The sorry state of stadiums owned and managed by the federal government leaves a lot to be desired. In 2023, the former Minister of Sports, Sunday Dare, claimed the government would need 21 billion naira to renovate the national stadium. Some have said the government should hands off the stadiums and concession it to private entities. But one thing is clear, something needs to be done urgently to save the national stadium Suruliri and to prevent the Moshud Abiola Stadium in Abuja from following in its dilapidated footsteps.